Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video, still looking at the Hack the Box business CTF. In this video, we're still in the web category, we just finished up the time challenge in the previous one, and now we're taking a look at the Note QL challenge. Um, for one star rated in difficulty, so easy, uh, and we have the challenge information that we can go ahead and check here. I don't think that replacing your REST APIs means that you don't need access controls. Can you read the admin's tasks from this minimal note-taking application? And this challenge is with a kind of deployable instance, so we'll go ahead and get that started up with a Docker container. Once that triggers itself on, we should have an IP address and port we can go ahead and take a look at. I'll open that up in a new tab here and give it just a moment to be able to load. I'll hit Control Shift R and <laughs> give it its time. Realistically, I should have these up kind of before I start recording, but you know, I like to make it the raw, real experience. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at this note QL application where we could add a note seemingly. Yep, I can type in this input box. So I'll type in the only obvious note that there is, and now that is added. Nice, we have a note here and I could complete it. Okay, does that, oh, it doesn't remove it or anything. It just, just stays there and completed. We could delete it and that's deleted. Fantastic. Uh, so now I'm kind of curious what does this actually do kind of at the technical level? So I'm gonna hit F12 on my keyboard and open up the developer tools tab. So I can see there is a quick fetch. Oh, and actually another one that are coming through and I'll make this a little bit larger so you can see this here uh, and also bring this out. So my face is not all the way in the way. <laughs> But I can see it kind of pulling the current note status over and over again, reaching out to this GraphQL endpoint, which is kind of a good indicator of what we're looking at. If I actually take a look at the headers of this request here, we are posting to that endpoint with a payload down here that looks very much like JSON or JSON, the JavaScript object notation. I think that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I always get some of those acronyms messed up. If we preview this data, we can kind of see it displayed in a kind of a, a nicer looking setup here. And the response would just display, okay, what comes back from it. Simple JSON again, if I were to add in another quote or another note, I will hit enter on that, okay? So now I could see the very, very first request that I send was a create note seemingly, again with my face in the way, create note mutation with a title and please sub value there with the ID kind of being supplied, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and this response that came back was, okay, that was seemed to succeed. Nice. Now I could kind of tinker with this. Theoretically, I, I, I want to know that that create note function is kind of being displayed there. Uh, could I delete that? I'll hit the delete button there. And there we go. Now I can see a delete note function that would have been called with the header. If I were to send that along mutation, delete note with the specific ID. So if it's not obvious now, we know that we're working with GraphQL, kind of in the background or back end of this application. Uh, if you aren't familiar with Gra GraphQL, I for one it was not really all that smart on it. We can go ahead and Google what GraphQL is. As you can see, it's an open source data query and manipulation language for APIs and a runtime for fulfilling queries with existing data. Originally developed by Facebook and you know, out and about for a little bit. You could kind of Google around a little bit more, learn a bit about this if you'd like, do your own research. I see some good YouTube videos. I don't have anything out on this just yet because I need to get smarter on it, but uh, I kind of wanted to know what could I do with this that is weird or odd or maybe, you know, potentially nefarious for doing some application security testing stuff. Uh, with that said, I saw one note for introspection uh, when I was Googling this around. It said it's often useful to ask a GraphQL schema for information about what queries it supports. GraphQL allows us to do so using the introspection system. And I thought that was kind of peculiar because it seemed to indicate, uh, can you read the admin's tasks and notes from this minimal application here? Um, so with that said, I thought, well, what about this GraphQL introspection? Is that something that I could maybe use to figure out what is really happening here on this application? What other information might it already have? This discusses it a little bit. You can query specific fields and maybe grab more information because when we were looking at this in F our developer tools, we could see that we were sending a query named parameter. So 
we are just simply sending queries. I wonder if that's either not validated or not sanitized or introspection is enabled and on. I thought maybe we could look into that. I kind of wanted to have some big payload to just do all of this, to just dump everything that it possibly could. So I thought, is there a payloads all the things GraphQL? And I typed in GarfQL. GraphQL, GraphQL injection. We do have some stuff in here, yeah? GraphQL injection. Am I really doing injection though? I'm kind of more interested in the introspection. You could kind of mess with this. Most of the time GraphQL is located on the GraphQL endpoint. Would that work? I knew I was sending a post request. We could kind of tinker and bump around with some of these, but uh, this one is, is interested. Dump the database schema. Maybe that would be worthwhile to look at. There's a lot in here. Okay, that looks like introspection. Are these two separate queries or one big thing? I guess it's just displaying a fragment. When we send a request to this, was that with a query object noted in the query value? <laughs> query, no, it just kind of includes it all in one. Is there a GraphQL introspection like query? Oh, introspection query for GraphQL in a gist. Maybe that's like a whole big payload. And I had, I, this is kind of what I had ended up stumbling across and looking at when uh, I saw this kind of in real time. Okay, and this is the introspection query. And it's literally the exact same seemingly as the, <laughs> I guess maybe in a kind of a different representation, but the same as what the payloads all the things had, maybe with less stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and mess with this. If we could supply this as part of what we want for sending to the application, realistically, we should probably do that in something like Burp Suite. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up in Firefox because I wanna use that to kind of narrow things down for using Burp. And look, looks, it looks like it's already kind of set to use Burp with Foxy Proxy. So then let's go ahead and get Burp Suite started. Uh, we can turn that off for the moment. Turn off Foxy Proxy and Burp Suite. So there we go, we can access this page here. And now back in Burp Suite, we we'll use a temporary project with Burp Suite defaults. So it just kind of gets out of the way and we can get started with our proxy. Uh, we could add a target in here if we wanted to. Uh, I, I tend to, this, this always is a little bit frustrating and annoying for me because I see all the, like, the strange things that, we'll try and add a URL prefix. I always see the strange things that Firefox wants to send with like their canonical success message or something. Uh, okay, there we go. I see a request come through and it looks like it is going to end up posting this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and hit control R to send this to a browser, or excuse me, send this to repeater. Um, can I make this text larger for you? I don't know if that's going to be worth the time commitment to explore it. Miscellaneous, user options, miscellaneous. Oh, display, display. Font size, crank. <laughs> okay, now you can see that. Good, you can see it from space, everybody. We're gonna meet up with Jeff Bezos when we see this thing. Uh, where was I? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> it's not helpful whatsoever. It doesn't even, it doesn't even increase the size on the data. What, Never mind. we're not hanging out with Jeff Bezos anymore. Send this thing back to like 12. <laughs> Okay, forgive me for completely wasting your precious time on my stupid YouTube videos. Let's hit control R and bring this to repeater. Let's hit contr control shift R to open repeater. And then we could try to send this. There we go. And we can see the response come back with the regular query that we'd like to use. This looks like it has a bunch of new lines that are trying to separate the JSON representation of this. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and take this whole chunk, you know, put this in raw mode so I can copy and paste the whole thing. And let's grab it in sublime text, cool, to then perform some introspection on this stuff. But we need to remove these new lines. So let's remove every new line. <laughs> and let's see if it just kind of behaves. I think that's worth a try. Get Firefox back open, get our 
burp suite back open and let me horrifically remove all of this and paste that chunk in there. Now, if I send this, oh, we see some errors. It says, cannot query field on operation, on directive, on fragment, and on field. Um, now, those were things that were part of the query. If I go back to view this in a smart mode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On operation, on fragment, and on field. Um, if you just can't query those, do they mean, does that mean they don't exist? Again, me not knowing much at all about GraphQL. Could I just not query those, potentially? I don't know where I want to put that. Uh, yeah, let's remove the new lines again and just try that, I suppose. Bring us back to the very, very end. Paste this all in and send that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, now there's some interesting stuff. Now I see an all notes object. That is new. Maybe that's kind of the field that we're looking for. My notes is what we were looking at previously. Notes from etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, yeah, and this kind of just represents everything that's in here. Now my notes is what we had requested just a moment ago, like by the default functionality of this app. But could we just query all notes and see what it might return? Would that have the admins thing in there? Could we actually access that? There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, let me just copy this to like sanity check. There's not some flag hidden in here. I'll look for HTB. Nothing. Okay. So the original query we had going back to our proxy, uh, let's send this to repeater again because this is the original syntax. And now let's look for all notes if that will work. There we go. Ooh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get groceries, learn Mandarin, <laughs> and our flag right here. HTB, nobody controls me. Fantastic. Clean up the pantry, walk the dog. So that was it. That was just some GraphQL introspection that we kind of needed to do to be able to track this down. Um, that was uh, a, a fun learning point for me because I literally am not familiar with GraphQL whatsoever. So I just kind of started to bump around and maybe got lucky, quote unquote, trying to track this thing. Um, I hit the submit flag, go ahead and paste that in there. Boom, points on the board. And now that one's done. So GraphQL, I certainly need to get smarter on. I don't know if you folks are interested or if you use GraphQL, if you really like the thing. Uh, let me know in the comments, get that engagement going, <laughs> you know? I'm also really curious now, how can I sync and increase oh, freaking HTTP message? I was, I was in the right section and I literally, sh I literally just should have made that larger. Oh, uh, all right, Jeffrey Bezos, we're back. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Well, there's our flag, everybody. Let's end the video now on a, on a high note or a low note, depending on how you uh, perceive reality. But I think that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that challenge. Uh, cool to stretch me and bring me into a little bit of GraphQL exposure and remind me that I need to learn that stuff. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, kind of a super sweet, super simple challenge. Um, not a whole lot of steps in the making there for us, but I'm excited as we move into the other ones that aren't rated one star or as easy. So I'll have a little bit more complexity in the mix. Uh, and it's fun to showcase Hack the Box Business ETF. Hope you guys are enjoying these series. Um, if you could please do those YouTube algorithm things, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be fantastic. If you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon and PayPal in the description. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.